what basis are you saying in one true God? So believing in one true God yeah. makes someone a Muslim. Yes. That's the primitive theology you have. He was riding a donkey whilst the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this sets? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said it sets in the spring of warm water. In the Quran, in the Quran, what you can find is Muhammad gets fundamental details about the Tanakh, the Bible, wrong. Let me ask you one more thing then. And you're not allowed to use this. You have, you have children. You're not allowed to use this. You're not allowed to use your brain. No. So to be a Muslim, you that can't use your brain. Yeah, you shut your brain. Second time or third time? Son, Father, Holy Spirit. Fine. Where do you get that from your doctrine? Well, that's our doctrine. No, you never have that. Equal in no. authority. Equal. Never seen it, mate. We're just telling you this. Show today. it to me, then. We're just telling you. Show it to me instead of just. So we don't want to hear it from your mouth. We want to hear it from the horse's so, mouth. The horse, Jesus the horse. himself. Well, unfortunately, oh, the horse isn't here. Access the access thing is this. Around. Exactly. <laughs> what we end up with is no the donkey. With, with, with we hear it from the donkey's mouth, not the horse's mouth. The donkey is speaking now. Let's put it this way. The donkey that Jesus rode. Equal to sign is reflexive. If A is equal to B, it also means B is equal to A. Yeah, you can have you can have it any in any order. The father is equal in authority to the son. The son is equal to the father. And therefore, you can say father, son, or son, father. Show me where that is. In that huge Bible of yours. Look at that huge Bible you've got. This, this, this is all this is all five years theological. No, mate. Paper boy. No, is the mate. father equal to the son? Now you can learn your belief on YouTube, my friend. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's simple. So let's, let, let, are you Muslim? Yes. Let's let's deal with some. Let's deal with some. Right. So let's let's. Do you think Muhammad knew the knew the Bible? Sorry. Do you Sorry. think Muhammad knew the Bible? Which which Bible do you have? So what, there? Which um, are you Sunni or Shia? Like, I, I, I'm not into that too deep, my friend. Okay, okay. Are you a Muslim? That's too deep. No. I'm not Muslim. Do you believe the Bible of the seventh century? Is that right? The Bible exists at the seventh century, which is during the time of Muhammad. Which Bible are you talking about? That's the one we're talking which about. Bible? The which Bible? The one, the one that your prophet confirmed in between his hands. Yes. Oh, oh you're talking about and, and uh, in G. Yes. Is that the Indeed there? Yeah. Part yeah. of this, part of this. But also the scriptures are Show me the red letter Bible and I'll read the talk. I, I haven't got a red letter. Okay. I've got it on my phone. But who wrote John then? Do you know it's exactly the same except it's just certain words. Are in Paul wrote John, yeah? <laughs> No, no spelling with T. Who, who wrote John? John wrote John. <laughs> John commented the book of John. Who's John? The apostle, an apostle who lived with Jesus. And when was that written? The first century. Ah. Contemporary to Jesus. Now, let's go back to what we were asking about earlier. Yeah. Muhammad, did Muhammad know the Bible at all or not? Did he know? Perhaps he didn't. Well, uh, it seems. It seems. Perhaps well. he didn't. Do you know what probably just happened? Is that God told him what to say and what to write? That's the thing, mate. That's where you guys. That's where, that's where you're confused. That's where you're confused. That's where you're confused. Let's get some listen. You're confused about it because you say that you think that Muhammad wrote the Quran, but you're wrong. We never said that. So Muhammad never wrote the Quran, did he? So that, that Who's in the question? Who did you speak to that told you that Muhammad wrote the Quran? Let me tell you this. Whoever wrote the Quran, God. Whoever wrote no, it, he didn't write it, that obviously God could not have written the Quran. Word. Because Quran has plenty of mistakes. Okay, Therefore, right. obviously it could not be from God. Whoever I've wrote it... You, I've seen you on YouTube who, so who, many times. Whoever you wrote it... You have been debunked over and over no, no. and over again. No, no. 
Is that, is that, can, can we get that once more? The All debunking right. once more? Oh, I can get yeah. it up on YouTube if yeah, you want, let's, no, 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 I'm not asking you to okay. show the video again. I'm just asking. I asked if, you what Bible is that and you don't even answer me. Uh, the only think, historical Bible. I can see that one's gone for a bit of wear and tear. Yeah. It's probably from the first yeah. century. Yeah, it is. Some white, some white. <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Ali. Ali. So that's uh, obviously Shia. Are you going? More likely Shia. Are you going? Um, I what? Goa. In Goa. No, I'm not from Goa. I've been to Goa, that's what I say. Oh, that's good. So Where now coming back. There? I am from further south. Where is that? Come along. Okay. Not being there. Well, you're most welcome. Come. Now, Muhammad did not know the Bible. This is an obvious fact looking at the Quran. What's that? I'm not, I'm not too sure on that. Yeah, well, I don't think we, are, we Christians are very sure. I don't think sure. you are sure on that either. No, we are very sure. We can show you examples right now in a couple of minutes. Okay, Muhammad did not have known the Bible. So let me ask you, what happened yeah. to the Bible that Muhammad confirmed it? Yeah, you tell me. Well, you're the Muslim, so you, you're the one saying we don't have the original in Jill. So I'm asking you... Your scholars tell you. So, I, so I'm asking you, what happened to the one Muhammad had? So what happened to the one that Muhammad had? We're not Muslims, so we don't know, so that's why we're asking you. had one in the first place? Your Quran. No. Yes. So let's read. Shall we, shall we look at the Quran? What does it say? All right. Does it say that Muhammad saw the, Quran, the Bible? The Injil. Shall we have a look? Yeah. Oh. Okay, let's nah, have a look. It says the Injil is not, it's not, it's not, the, Bible. It's not the Bible even. Okay. I'm saying to them, I'm saying to do you them, have a, do you have a Quran just on because you? it's in the Quran doesn't yes. mean that Muhammad actually read the Quran. Let's read Surah Al Baqarah. Surah Al Baqarah, which is Surah 2, Ayah 89. And it says, when there comes to them who are Israel, that which is in there, there comes to them, and read, read the entire verse out for us, please. When there comes to them a scripture from Allah confirming that which is in their possession. So something was obviously in their possession, and Muhammad has come to confirm it. Is that your Bible you're talking about? Well, We're you tell me what, what is happened it? to it. Who, 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 you tell us what is you're that? You're the Muslims. So you should tell us. Ben. Yeah, maybe so we're asking what happened to tell us, mate. Yeah, it's it's gone. Gone. You tell us this, this is your Quran. This is your Quran. That's 400 years ago. Yeah, so what happened to the one that all the Christians had then? No, it's a bit of a story. Okay. I am a Christian. No, no, no. I am a Christian. I knows my Bible. I knows a bit about your Quran also. What kind of Muslim are you? Someone who doesn't seem to know your Quran. What Bible? So unless there's some evidence. Only one Bible. No, but even, oh. even what was there wouldn't have been fully 100% so, correct let's anyway. come to this. Uh, There's a Catholic. Well, we do have 100% anyway. Right anyway. So I'm not interrupting that anyway. Good enough. Good enough. But good enough. Well, no. All the call we'll messages have yes. been 100%. To a Catholic, 100% is Jesus God or not? Historically. We can go That's how good the Bible now. is. Ask them. It's fantastic evidence. We'll get to that later. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, coming to this one, yeah. Let me ask you. Now, this is a Christian who knows his Bible. You seem to be a Muslim who doesn't know your Quran. Let's read this. And you are going to help us understand they go to when the precisely this happened. The main court of belief. This yep. is the main court of belief. Who's now, God? This is reminding <laughs> the people of Israel something that happened during the time of Moses. Yeah. Surah Al-Baqarah, verses 67 to 17. Because Moses write the Old Testament. Why do you not want to answer a question about the Quran? Why, do you Why not, don't you? You not answer any of my questions. I asked you what Bible do you look at? You I said the me. only historical and Bible. I told you what kind of Christian are you? You don't answer. I answered and I said answered, a kind of Christian who knows his Bible. I answered any of my questions. So and a I kind of Christian me, who knows his Bible. Why am I not answering your no, question? Let's read this. Let's read this. Let's read this. Double standard. When Moses said to his people, yeah, Moses apparently was telling Israel, when Moses said to his people, Allah commands that you, that you sacrifice a cow. They said. They said, do you make fun of us? He answered, Allah forbid that I should be among the foolish. They said, pray for us to your Lord, that he make clear to us what cow she is. 
Moses answered, he says, surely she is a cow neither with calf nor immature between the two conditions. So do that which you are commanded. They said, pray for us to your Lord that he may clear to us of what color she is. Mo Moses answered, he says, surely she is a yellow cow. Bright is her color, gladdening beholders. They said, pray for us to your Lord that he may clear to us what cow she is. Cows are much alike to us. And if Allah wills, we will be led aright. Moses answered, he says, surely she is a cow unyoked. She plows not the soil, nor waters the tilth, whole and without mark. They said, now you bring the truth. So they sacrificed her, though almost they did not. Question to you, I just where you do you find... The question. Talking about a cow. Exactly. Where, where in the... What are you talking about? Exactly what I'm going to ask you right now. What's this where do you find this Second particular final, experience? This particular experience of Moses, the nation of Israel, and the yellow color cow, which which is not where too old. Where do you find that in the Bible? Where? We don't care about that. If you show this to a Jew, would they? What would they? What would they say looking at that passage? They would say, "What? Go and ask one. Where did they come from? Allegedly. Ask one when one's here in the camera. One's not here, so. So question. Where did Jew when one's here in the camera? Where did Muhammad get this idea from? From where? What's the point you're making? This obviously it's not in your not, Bible. This obviously because it's not in your Bible. Say, this obviously is not from the Bible. We so know where that. from? We know that, my friend. No, well, well, in the Quran. Yeah, it's the Quran. So, so the qu question is, when precisely did about? the nation of Israel have a problem with identifying the color of a cow the which point. they need to use? The reason why it got more complicated because they were ignorant. They let's didn't see to the first command. Let's see. Let's see what the problem. It's so obvious. Let, let us see what the problem between. <laughs> Muhammad and the oh, Jews Allah. were. I don't oh, this is this is the problem. Oh. Now, please listen. This I is the problem. We're talking about this cow. I was talking there, to my my point is this precisely. Point is not in the Bible, but it like seems like, like, like my po my point is this. <laughs> so you're saying it's not happened. I know what you think. I know you're saying my 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 point. Not, it's not in the Bible. My so. point is yeah. exactly this, which is Muhammad seems to say plenty of things. Muhammad, Allah's word about. Well, if it is Allah, it's even worse, my dear friend. If it's at least Muhammad, it's slightly better. You can at least think a man could make mistakes. The point is this. The point, the point is this. Muhammad claims a certain problem, claims the historicity of a certain problem concerning the nation of Israel. But the point is, if you show this to any Jew, he would tell you that this is a problem. This is not according to their experience. And this is why, this is why Surah 2. He's debunking it. Show me proof. Jews had a problem with Muhammad. During the time of Muhammad, Jews had a problem with Muhammad. What was the problem that the Jews have with Muhammad? He's debunking this. Argument. Excuse me. What is the problem that Jews of the time of Muhammad had? This is the problem they had. No, Jews of the time of Muhammad clearly knew that Muhammad did not have a clue about scriptures. They clearly knew that what he was saying was completely pulled out of random so thin air, nothing to do with Jewish scriptures. Is, and that is why is Jews, Jews of the time of Muhammad disagreed with Muhammad. Muhammad himself testifies. If you please read this for us. What is Muhammad's testimony about what Jews Jews said minute, concerning him. This the is what Jews, they said. The Jews laugh at you. Laugh. They laugh at you. Well, they could laugh at me later, but let's laugh, at, laugh at laugh you. at these verses first. <laughs> let's go through this first, please. Wow. Let's read this. Surah Al-Baqarah. My dear friend, Muhammad. you seem to be a Muslim nah, who does mate. not know his Quran. Nah, you might, nah, you nah, might nah, do nah, better nah, to nah, know nah, a few nah, bits nah, and pieces nah, here and there. Surah Al-Baqarah which is Surah 2, Ayah 13. This is what it says. Muhammad testifies clearly the basis with which the Jews rejected him. This is what he says. And when it is said to them, believe as the people believe. So Muhammad is insisting the Jews believe. That is God. That's what you should believe. Excuse me, sir. Please wait. We're reading from your own book. Please pay respect. I've been waiting for you for like 10 minutes, mate. And you never listen to your own book. This There's is the problem. No so oh, wow. what is Muhammad saying? Muhammad is insisting that the Jews better believe along with the Muslims. Believe as 
as the people believe. Who is the people? Muslims. Believe as the people believe. They say, shall we believe a foolish? So, so, shall no. we believe no. as the foolish no. believe? No, that's wrong. Surely, no, well, no, you're making surely they are. Well, you're this, making it up. This is the glorious Quran. You're saying as the. You're saying what that is that? The, the Muslims are foolish. With the Arabic. So this is this is this is. It doesn't say Muslims. It doesn't say Muslims. It doesn't say Muslims are foolish. Paper boy, did you hear that? Muslims are foolish. So the meaning of the glorious. Quran. 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 An explanation Quran. translation boy. Quran. Muslims are foolish and it's not written in there. No. Let's read. He's assuming his assumptions are misguided. Can you read, sir? His blurred have you got a problem with reading in Arabic? Trying to you don't have to depend on my assumptions. You can read that for yourself. What does that say? Does say Muslim? Read that for us, please. No, 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 no. And when it is said to them, you put that in there. Would you like to read, sir? Would you like to read, sir? I read it. Can you read, sir? I read it. I caught you out. Who is a believer according to the Quran? Who is a believer? Who is a believer according to the Quran? Who is it? Not you guys. Why? 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 Who is a believer according to the Quran? Where does it say Muslim? Sir, when it is said to them, clearly believe, believe as the people believe. So he got caught. He got caught. He got caught, mate. No, not really. Shall we he believe? Got caught, really. No, not really. He got caught, mate. So, Shall we caught. believe? During that time, yeah. there were idol worshippers. Written all over your face as well. Many type of, <laughs> many type of <laughs> idol worshippers. So let's put it this way. Does Muhammad recommend anyone to believe uh, idol like the way I don't worship? Idol worship. What? Idol worship. Yeah, does he say that? Obviously, Muhammad, according to you, never said believe. What do you mean at that time? What time, time are you talking about? That's what it says. Half past five. At five that time. At that time. At the time when you get caught up here. So what does the verse say? Alhamdulillah. Well, yeah. Please. Alhamdulillah. It doesn't say Muslims. So what? Say, Ray, talking please. about idol worshippers. What, what, what does this say? Idol worshippers. He's talking yes. about idol worshippers. I'm happy about it. Would you like to read, sir? Nah, man. Please, if you read that verse for us, please. Nah. What is that? English Quran. Quran, real Quran, Arabic Quran. So what is this? If this is not a real Quran, what is who, who this? Who translated this? I don't know who translated this. Now, basically. So let me ask you. Let me ask you another question, sir. It doesn't say. Let me ask Muslim. you another question, sir. Doesn't For you to Muslim. explain about a cow, about a nation of Israel, and about a, a man called Moses, why do you need it to be in Arabic? Why? Can you not read that in I English? I didn't say that. I didn't say anything about So that. can you read this passage? My argument with you from the beginning, right? I don't know why we're talking about a cow. I am talking about a cow because You're... the surah is entirely about a cow. What were you What is the name? What does the name Al Bakara mean? Before with this guy. With the uh, paper boy. Yeah. We are Christians, we talk about all sorts of other things. Okay. Now, to so, Muslim, we are telling you right. your ideas are wrong. Okay. Muhammad himself did not we have did a not clue about the Tanakh. They and therefore, the cow or slaughtered the cow. Is that what you're saying? What I am saying is not the lamb in your view. According to details which are available very readily for you in the, in the Bible, Quran. In the Bible. In the Quran, in the Bible, what you can find is Muhammad gets fundamental details about the Tanakh the Bible wrong and that's why he goes around claiming things which are obviously inconsistent what about with the Bible of the Old Testament no wonder no Jew contemporary Testament? to him you don't receive him on the theological Testament. basis you don't even believe in the Tanakh you I don't believe, don't in believe in the Old Testament who no, you told don't. you I don't believe in the no, Tanakh you don't. How can it you? How Excuse can me, you? sir. Who how told you, you I don't believe in the Quran? How can you? What do you mean, how can you? How can you? It's a total contradiction to the New Testament. So, exactly. So, do you see the problem again? Muhammad thinks what? it's a contradiction that exists between the New Testament and Old Testament. I'm he doesn't even about know. Jesus being God, and then there's only one true God. And even in the. I'm talking about that, that aspect. I'm Say so. talking about cow. Say so. Who tells you the thing? which you are informed of. In the, in the, oh, so you're telling me that Moses Question. preached who that is the source? Who is the source of your theological insight? Who is the source of your insight? The Bible. The Bible? Yeah. And the Bible is quite clear. God has a son. Would you agree with the Bible the then? New Testament. 
even in the Old Testament. There God are. has a son, it's quite clear. Israel is the son. <laughs> David is the son. I think you've been through these debates many times, haven't you? You've gone through and all of them, you don't to, have an answer. You haven't been able to do anything about it. How can God it? have a son and be God at the same time? No. How can't he? No. How can't he? They're a little bit. God, God you won't tell me what kind of Christian he is. Let me ask you this. Because the Catholics actually believe Excuse me, sir. Different. You mind your own business, sir. You don't even know about your Quran. And therefore, <laughs> leave everyone else. Uh, nice one. Leave yeah. everyone else at peace. Yeah. Now, let's go to the Bible. Does the Old Testament say God has a son? Yes, it clearly does. does I can Moses read to you. believe that Jesus is God? Is that what you're saying? Moses, you're, you're gonna you're gonna okay. start a new branch. Moses, of if he ever were, were to speak to Muhammad, he would say, Muhammad, you do not have a clue as to what was revealed in Mount Sinai. You yes, don't does. have a clue. He does realize. Moses would very clearly say that, and you need to be aware of that. Moses is a, is a Muslim. <laughs> On what basis, sir? Is he a Christian? On what basis are you saying Moses is a Muslim, Moses sir? Is a Christian. On what basis are you he saying? In one true God. So believing in one true God yeah. makes someone a Muslim. Yes. That's the primitive theology you have. That's it. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Philistines. Primitive. You know Philistines? Primitive. Now you know Goliath. Primitive. King David primitive. fighting with Goliath. Do you know him? Yeah. But oh. the land, the, 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 the people of Philistines be. had yeah. one. Chief God, Baal, Dagon. Okay. Okay, read that passage. There are other nations in the world who are chief gods, Baal, one. Read that passage. Does that make them Muslims? Read that passage. Look, what yeah. Muslim means literally in Arabic means that they only worship one God. They Say so. That's what, uh, that's, that's what I say. What that's what it means, so, means in Arabic. My, 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 my fundamental problem is this. You, yes. So are, are, you, are you saying if you believe in one God, yeah. you go to heaven? Uh, yeah. yeah. So does Shaitan believe in one, one God? God? He's going to go to heaven. It's not only that you believe in one does God. Does Shaitan believe? Ah, so now, so you see, at first he says, he says one you God. have to believe in one God. Yeah. Now yeah. he's adding one what extra. Is, what so therefore, we have established just believing in one God does not qualify you for heaven. Okay. So you Because say, Muslims always say, we believe in one God. That stick, to, stick to his point, please. Exactly. So then why do Muslims say, we believe in one God, as if, that is the only qualifier. No, I, so, the only so qualifier. I know I know of your existence. Okay. Yes. But it doesn't mean that I worship. It's the the point. Shaitan never worshipped God. Okay. So that's the difference. So, so the so so, so, so the Zoroastrian or the Canaanites who believed in one God could bow. So you're Do saying to, to me heaven? you're yes. saying to me, paper boy. Paper boy. Paper boy. Now we're adding the worship also to the right. like, So it's not the fundamental belief in one God which makes you a I like Sadi Omani. And it like gets you to heaven. I like uh, the Shaitan. Does that mean uh, I worship them? Shaitan. Uh, yes. Does that mean I worship them? Worship. As football players. Okay, let me deal with his point. Now, then. wait a minute. Was, that's was, that's was, your let, argument. Let, let's just that's your let, let, him, let, let your brother know, he has, Let your brother he has, answer. He had a good argument. Yeah, but he had a good argument. Let you I know answer. of their existence, oh. but that does not mean I worship them. That is a true distinction. Yes. Okay. The point Shaitan was distinction. if you believe in one God, does that guarantee you no. heaven? No, no, that's not. That, that so, is, therefore, believing in one God that does not guarantee you heaven. Because Muslims always claim we believe in one God. Okay. But if that doesn't mean anything, why do they say we believe in one God? Worship. Because anything. Believe. You believe because. Believe and worship. So if they worship one God, yeah. will they go to heaven? No, no, look, that's the, the rule, the rule that's, huh? regarding that's God, the paradise. That's the paradise. Believing that's, in God, yes. now, if God tells me not to do this, not to... Now associate. you're adding on extra. No, no, no. The associate. first claim not was associate. we believe in one God. No, 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 no. I'm now listen, listen, asking you God, a simple question. In the Bible it if says, you have, don't associate if you have, God listen to my question, you're, no, no, you're not no, listening. The rule is you're adding one God. Listen to my question, please. You said we believe in one God. Yes. So I'm saying to you, if you have, for example, 
example, yeah. Canaanites who believed in Baal and they worshipped Baal. They believed in one God. Do they go to heaven? I worship them. I don't know who they are. Come on, man. What are they? Come on, man. Look, listen. The rule with regarding one God is listen. God can Do, forgive all of your sins. Right. If that's you religion. We now pray no, another no, no. God with we're, we're that's asking the rule you regarding one to God. Establish what deviation. does believing in one God You're mean? Deviating. Because you say we believe in one God. You're deviating. No. You can't answer the question. No one. They made the whole claim we believe in one God, I but no one has answered the I question. I worship your shoe. That makes me go to heaven. Paperboy, can we please? It's your claim. It's my God, right? Because the thing is this. Oh, man. Okay. I cannot choose what I decide to be a God for me. I cannot, for example, decide that, oh, the devil is my God. So if I worship the devil, I can't as one God, then I'm going to heaven. We believe. I'm just I can't put a picture to God. You can. We believe. We believe. I can't put a picture to God. That's not the question. We, that's 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 not, not, the question time. was, if you, you made the claim, we believe in one God. Now you are diverting to we, pictures we and believe, strainers. In one that's person. not the question. The point you was this. Him, if you believe in one God, are you guaranteed heaven? By God, by God. No, no, you're not guaranteed. You're guaranteed that you are not always straight away from God's mercy. So that's it. You, we have the Canaanites who uh, worship Baal. We have to no sacrifice one. their children to God, this God. We don't God. Believe in sacrifice. God. Listen to what I'm saying. They believe, believe in one. One God. You believe in they yes. believe in yes. one God. Yes. Yes. But the you made the claim we believe in one God, like this is a supreme concept. Yeah. Yes. So yes. they yes. believe in one God too. Yeah. The supreme yeah. concept you, we have is that God does not yeah. forgive people who pray with Him another God. You're yeah. diverting. You're not that's, answering the question. My question was simple. It's not that you get to believe in one God. Does this guarantee you paradise? Okay, people, can I can I rephrase that in a slightly different way? If belief created cannot be the creator. My dear friend, when one second. This is diverting. No, you yeah. are. You are okay. diverting. Do you, what is a Muslim? A Muslim that believes in one true creator, one God. Okay. So if you believe, all right. So, so if now we have another group of people who believe in one true God, does this qualify them as monotheists? What's their God? What's their God? If, not, if, they, just, if they believe in God, can, yeah. can you repeat your question again? So I can repeat your question. So if we have a group of people who believe in one. God. Okay. Which is? Or we would say the Canaanites who believed in Baal. Okay. 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 Yes. Thanks for deviating. If they believe in the Canaanites, oh, we believe they do not believe in Allah. So okay. if they don't believe in Allah, that means they're not Muslim. Which means really they cannot go to heaven. So therefore, so therefore, we believe in Allah. So they don't believe because so God can be labeled to anything you want to yeah. okay. say. So, so therefore, the claim of believing in one God does not mean anything because you could die tomorrow and Zeus is the God of the universe. Yes. So therefore, this concept does not mean anything in itself. No, no, no. I'm saying that we believe in Allah, which is a God that is one entity. We don't, okay. we don't use God as a label to what we want to choose. If a group of people choose another entity and then they call it God for themselves, it means that they don't believe in Allah. They don't believe in God. Okay. In other words, they use the label. So who is, who is Allah? Allah? Allah is the God that we believe in. He's the God that wrote the book for us. Is he the same? as the God of the scriptures of the people of scriptures. Israel, yes. Christians. Same yes. God, same God. So you Allah think Allah, Allah is the same God for both the Bible yes. and the Quran. Yes, In which case, if Muhammad is a prophet of that same Allah, you would expect Muhammad to know details of the Bible. You would expect that to be the case. Well, Muhammad himself is not the person who actually designed the book. Allah is the person who actually gave the book to us. Yeah, if Allah so is if the same Muhammad God, does not know about, right? if, Muhammad, if Muhammad does not know about, so it, does not, let, let, let does us get to the Allah. If Allah, God, if Allah of the Quran, Muhammad is a human being. if Islamic Allah, Allah of the Quran, is the same as Yahweh, what's that? What's, yeah. Exactly yeah, the point. Yeah, I know it's in Arabic, that's why I do it. Yeah, you mean? Yahweh is the God of Israel. Okay, yeah, sorry, I know it's in Arabic, that's why. Okay, yeah, keep, yeah. Going, keep going. So, the question is, if Allah of the Quran, the Islamic Allah, is the same as Yahweh, we would expect the Quran 
known not to have details which are contradictory to the Bible. Uh, how does it contradict? Uh, so, so we were earlier talking about some examples. Let me ask you this. So uh, that was one example. I'll ask you another example this time. Okay. So let me just no, ask no. you a quick question. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Because before you before I answer, I just want to say something. When I'm answering a question, yeah. I do not have the complete information about my religion. So I might answer the question wrongly because I'm human, That's I'm right. ignorant. Right. So if we're arguing and then yeah. you're looking for a mistake and go like, aha, uh -huh, which is means you're wrong and I'm right, we're never going to get anywhere. So I'm going to try to answer to my ability of what All I understand, right. okay. which I believe in the truth, but I might make a mistake because I'm ignorant. And, and if you day. don't know, so, you should say you, I so, don't know. So, yeah. so, which is fine, so no you know the yes. story of um, Dulkar 9? Sorry? Dulkar 9 in the Quran? Uh, no, I, okay. if you tell me the story, so this is Quran 18, 83, and we read on. They asked thee concerning Zulkarnain, say, I will rehearse to you something of his story. Verily, we established his power on earth, and we gave him the ways and the means to all ends. One way he followed, until when he reached the setting of the sun, he found it set in the murky pool of water. Do you believe the sun sets in water? First of all, and would God say that the sun first sets of in all, water? First of all, if God said that the sun sets of water, you would have to look at the whole context of the whole surah. We can so, we can start wherever you want. If I look at we can yeah, start wherever you want. Ten to four. No, I get a chance to do this. Okay. Where where do you want Let, to start? Let's start from you start again. Okay. We we'll start from A3. Okay. They ask thee concerning Zulkarnain. Yes. Say, I will rehearse to you something of his story. Okay. Verily, we establish his power on earth, and we gave him the ways and the means to all ends. One such way he followed, until he reached the setting of the sun, he found it set in a spring of murky water now okay do you believe the sun sets in water no so why would god say this there, there we go now if i tell you a phrase okay and i give you a metaphor okay if you take the metaphor literally okay it will make no sense right could there be a possibility that it's a metaphor for something what was the metaphor i personally don't know okay. that's the thing i i literally have not like gone through the whole book to all answer. right but there is a possibility that could be a metaphor okay. or it could contradict my religion. Okay. There's if a, if, if a it was a metaphor, who would right. be the best person to explain that verse? A person who's understood the book quite thoroughly and understands the meanings behind certain sentences within the book. Would that be your I'm prophet? Not, no. The your prophet? prophet? Yes. Okay. Let's go to the hadith. Okay. This is uh, Sahih. Okay. Sunan Abu Dawood narrated Abu Dar. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this sets? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. And this is your prophet speaking. He said, it sets in a spring of warm water. Okay. So now your prophet has explained this verse in the Quran and he has confirmed that he believes the sun sets in water. So how would God say this and a prophet of God say that the sun sets in water? And there is another point to this. If God is saying it, he is not going to make any mistake in the way he is explaining it. It's going to be clear because, because now God we knows. clearly see this yeah. is not a metaphor because the companion yeah. of your prophet don't looked like at the I... sun and he asked your prophet, do okay. you know where this sets? So he didn't say it's a metaphor yeah. or it looks like exactly it's setting. He said it sets in a pool of warm That's water. Literal. This is a phrase said by the prophet, but yes. does the prophet explain that he was referring to the ayah from the Quran when he said that? Because the hadiths are yeah. meant to explain the Quran. No, 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 no. Yes. The hadith are not meant to explain the Quran. Okay. The Quran is a scripture from God. Yes. And the hadith are sayings that were said by the prophet themselves. Yes. So they, the hadith is basically what the prophet has been saying throughout his life yeah, and, then been collected, in terms of it. and then been collected yeah. and we interpreted those hadith in order to benefit us but in life. But they do help, they do help. No, no, so they do help. Would a but, of but the God hadith is not there for us to explain the book. Would, would, meaning, just, just allow me, yes. meaning that if I wanted to understand the book, I can understand the book without no. having... The, the, yeah, the hadith explain generally the revelation of how the verses came about, the situations. Yeah. Yeah, but it 
yes. is not the hadith yeah. purpose have, yeah. is not of to course. Yeah, that's explain the, the Quran. Yes. In order to understand the Quran, yes. you would have to have very good understanding in the Arabic language. Okay. Because the certain things, even if you translate it in English, it yes. might mean something. But explain this Arabic. one, that's yes, fine. No problem. Would a prophet of God say the sun sets in warm water? He can say it in uh, sunset and spring water, but I am very confident that he didn't mean it literally. I am so, very sure there's a meaning behind it. Where, Unfortunately, I just don't have, there is no I don't meaning. have the knowledge. This word is coming You're, from Allah. I don't the word have, is coming from Allah. I, I'm not fit to answer this question because I don't have this information. This is a very good point though. If the word is coming from Allah, then surely Allah would not make the mistake of something that was meant to be described in a different way, described in a different way. It would be qualified. Because look, he's saying, we look Look at the verse, Allah is speaking. Until he reached the setting of the sun, he found it. So Allah is not saying it, he imagined it, or it looked like it. He's, Allah is confirming, he exactly. found it set in the spring of mercy so water. Allah's words. Yes. So Allah is not so Allah is not, Yes, yes. yes. You see point? To, to interpret what the Quran says, I will have to, first of all, read it in Arabic first before I read it in English. Because do you understand Arabic? Yes, I do. Okay, do you want Arabic? I won't be able to explain it to you now because if I wanted to go through it, I would have to read the whole, the whole surah. A surah is like a passage. And this is the hadith. This is the Arabic. You yeah. can read the Arabic. <laughs> See, the difference is, if Muhammad was saying, oh, this is my interpretation or my view of it, I'd see there's a fair point. But because Allah's saying it, then Allah's not going to put something that is a kind of... someone who speaks Arabic. You see I, what I'm saying? There's a word I don't understand. No. There, there's... See, Which word is it? Fa'inaha taghrib min sans san. Aini hamiya. I don't actually understand what that means. So I can... Say, huh? say it again. I need Hamid. Do you understand Arabic? No, no, no. So I need someone who actually can. Is that the bit where it's talking about? I don't understand this. Can we do a Google words. Translate? So if it translates? Yeah, no, no, no. A Google Translator will not do it justice because I need someone who understands proper grammar in Arabic. Right. So you're trying to check the grammar of the bit where it says yes, the, the sun setting in the water. Arabic is very insensitive. Yeah, I could say it's one very word. Clear. Yeah, yeah, so you're trying to sit. So basically, mm. you've seen that that Arabic confirms that the sun sets in the water, but you want someone to double check the word to make sure the grammar is correct in saying that the sun sets in the water. The reason I say that I want to understand what this word is. Uh, what does it mean? That's all okay. I understand. In Arabic, before I translate it in English. Okay. But listen. You can find so many things in the Quran that yeah. you can tell me, which I would think it contradicts my religion. Yeah. The religion is is is. is Doesn't the Quran that say, do they not ponder upon the Quran? So yeah. we're challenged and invited to ponder, because it says we will find many contradictions and errors in it. So yeah. the Quran invites us yeah. to analyze what's inside okay. and see if we find errors and contradictions. Okay. So when we find these errors and contradictions, we bring them to the Muslims and ask them to explain it. Okay. For a, for a Muslim to be fit to explain those contradictions, they have okay. to first of all have a very good understanding of the book. A person like me, who doesn't have a very good understanding in the book, would have the same viewpoint as you. Because if you're looking at information, first of all, you have to take very good care of what it actually means. Because if you take something literally, if I take something literally out of the Quran, I, am, I, I myself as a Muslim, I can assure you, I can go to the Quran and find a sentence that contradicts my religion. But the problem I'll is, tell you why. your Quran tell you why. and your Prophet both said the sun sets in, the, in water. I'll tell you why. Because if you take something literally, it might not make sense. But you have to understand it within the context. But your, the context was of the Hadith. You're the companion of your prophet. Yeah. Ask him, where does the sun set? So we have the concept. This is Sa this is Sahih. Look, Sahih. So this one is true. Sahih is means it's authentic. All I'm saying. This is um, Sunan Abu Dawood. This is one of the. That's not proof though that this is a true hadith. Personally, yeah, there are very few true hadiths. A lot of them are rumor and yes. speculation and hearsay. But this is when so it's when that it's isn't based enough to contradict an entire religion. Because we go to the Quran as well. And it talks, okay. and I, this what is where the, I started. Where did, where did the Quran, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Quran says, they asked thee concerning Zulkarnain, say, I will rehearse to you something of his story. Verily, we establish his power on earth, 
and we gave him the ways and the means to all ends. One such way he followed. Until he reached the setting of the sun, he found it set in the spring of murky water. This is, I think this is the issue with translation. Uh, the it, translation? because yeah, you're translating ah. literally. But from, show me the Arabic, show me the Arabic ayah that says that, because this is, yeah, 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 when yeah, you okay, translate sure. things literally, understand. they they don't always, so, yeah. So when you don't like something, you can appeal no, to the No, show me the Arabic, show me the Arabic ayah, and I'll see if it says the same thing, and if it doesn't, hold my hands up. Okay. I don't understand. I don't understand this Arabic. That's the thing. Uh, oh, He's someone who. I'm, so, not, I'm not arguing. So you want the Arabic? Then when we bring the Arabic, then you don't understand it. We, I, I personally don't feel like we people, we are fit to answer your questions you, because, like, so, because you see, if a person, the look, look, they appeal to the, the no, Quran, no, 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 no. Let, then when me, we, they don't me, like the English yeah. translation, we bring in the Arabic, no, then when you, so, we bring you the let, Arabic, let the grammar thing. doesn't make sense. Let, let me just so say then, I myself don't understand it fully to be able to have engage in this argument when, when it comes to yes. you finding evidence and me trying to argue against it. That's but we clearly use the hadith I'm saying, as well. I'm saying that you have the right to can argue I against it. I, 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 I do not have the enough knowledge oh, wait, to enough. be able to argue against fair that's enough. what I'm saying. But, but when you say you don't understand, in what sense do you mean? Is it because your Arabic is not uh, yes. strong enough? Yes. A, so a, a, so that's the physical a. word, that's a. you're not recognizing it. That's A. I do not I do not have good understanding of Arabic because certain words oh, if you change the apostrophe no, it could be the same word but it would mean something else. But so we I have the English we have the English translation which yes. is done by the Muslim community. Okay, so then maybe it could not be the fact because of translation. That's that's Where taken out of the way, right? Okay. okay. The second thing could be you could have a phrase within something we call a surah. A surah is like okay. a whole passage together with many phrases within it. If you take one phrase out of context I might take it literally, but if I actually have the whole context, then I'll be able to explain to you what it means. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's like I have a story, I have a book, and I take one sentence after the book, and then I tell you to answer for the I, sentence. I think that's a fair but point. I think you're just going to struggle on this verse in this case. I am struggling, okay. no problem. But it's a single well, I am struggling verse, because this is a single verse, and we are not like um, so the, the, scholars. The, 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 this is one of many, but this is one of hundreds. If, if I was, but no, like, let's stick to this, okay. this simple verse. Yeah. A simple verse, which in the Quran, in English, translated by. Yeah. Not Christians, but an Islamic community tells you that this guy Dulkarnain goes to a place and he sees the sun setting in a black muddy pool of water. That's what it says, the translation. Now, of course, you weren't happy with the English, so you wanted to go to the Arabic, which is fair enough. Now, once, 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 be, before, before you find excuses, let's, let's, let's define the problem first. Let's define the problem first. Yeah? So you went to Arabic, of course, I can't read Arabic. I don't, I don't think I can read can. Arabic, but the so Quran, you can. Is, Quran is complicated Arabic, so I don't always understand. So, so let's, say, let's say you didn't understand yeah, that, but I that's where uh, pr Brother Paperboy there showed you Sunan Abu Dawud, which is one of the, so you said uh, uh, Hadith, Hadith, Hadith source. Hadith have been proven not to be true. But which is what you said, excuse. but the problem canonical. is this, this is one of the six canonical Hadiths for the Sunnis. I, want to say hey. I, I don't know if you're a Sunni or yeah. Shia. Yeah. So this is one of the six Sahih Hadiths. So are you Christians? We are. So do you not think that there are several contradictions in the Bible? Now let's go to that later. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's we'll go to any about, challenge. We're talking about the words of Allah let's, saying let's that you, the sun sets in yeah. the murky pool of water. The hadith yeah. says. The hadith clearly says that the sun sets in the murky pool of water. Question is. Question is. Question is. How would you? No, don't, don't, don't tell us. Please, please don't tell us. There might be other explanations. Don't tell us the possibilities there. Just tell us what other explanations are there. Give us one example, two examples. I have not actually gone through the book and read through it and studied it okay. to answer your question. That's what, so what kind of thing do you need to study? What kind of thing do you need to study to read a simple statement which says, Son sets in a black yes, yes, muddy pool of water? I'll tell you why. Because in the Quran, I can pick a lot of sentences within the Quran. And if I take it in a literal sense, it would not make any sense. For so me. you, you obviously understand the context of it and so it gave you the context on their hadith yes, as well no but the and no, the that's 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 not what my dear friend so yeah. you obviously are saying there is complexity in picking the context
context. It is so what we are saying is, yeah. what we are saying is, yeah. Islamic scholars obviously know about the complexities. Then they yeah. would be more fit to answer that question. They are the ones who have translated the passage into English, and they are the ones. But you are saying, your, your, your entire wrong. argument is based right. on a single so, line. Hmm? Your entire argument is based on a single line. But if the single line, and we use the hadith as well. So and the two different and sources. The the, the, the argument is, if Allah gets this wrong, okay. something very fundamental wrong, this, this Islamic wrong, Allah, yes. Yes. This, something is wrong. well, you, you help us find out, does the sun set in a black muddy pool of water? We, you and I both we have, to Christians, it's quite clear, obviously this is wrong. Okay. I know. Now, if you want to argue against it, in just English. help us. In How do you find out? In English. In English. In English. In English. In English. So, no, so, so oh, there are Use metaphor. Yeah, yeah. Use a metaphor. Are, are, Tell us how yeah. precisely would you explain that yes. verse? Yes. How would you do that? I don't have the explanation. That's what I'm saying. Don't tell me metaphors. I'm just saying. Metaphor saying, saying you only look at it from one point. You could do the same is thing with not, the Bible. You could come and find the Bible. Most certainly, most certainly, the Bible has been dealt with with vigor. This book has been challenged for many centuries. And and and, 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 and the Bible has been challenged for many centuries, and this has withstood all challenges. Now, the moment we challenge about a simple verse in the Quran, the moment, the moment, no, you, you're, you're misunderstanding. You're misunderstanding our point. Our point is not that we are asking you to translate first and then explain. We're not asking you to do that. If that is what we are asking, you. You could say we are not experts in translating this. That you could say. Yes. But what we are doing rather is we are saying experts, Islamic experts have done that for you. The complex work is done. The translation is ready. The complex work is not the translation. The complex work is understanding. Yeah, right. Help us understand. Sun sets in a black muddy pool of water. How many ways are there to understand? How many, How many different ways are there to understand that? If I don't know the context, I cannot argue with you. Do you believe the seminar uh, is the sunset? It's not in the Bible. That's what I'm trying to say. It could no, be a metaphor. It's not. Use the metaphor. No, no, no. By all we, means, we, we, we look is, at the hadith is, and it's clear okay. the hadith is not. What I'm trying to explain to you, the hadith is not the context that I'm talking about. There is an entire surah around the surah. Is there no surah? No, no. I'm not telling you why. Because the verse is there on its own. The verse is surrounded by an entire surah. The idol, no. And you obviously don't know anything. There's two surah number two. Yeah. Abu Dawood knows that. So the Quran says it goes from the east to the west and the second to the third. The no, no, no. I need to have a picture. No, this is one of the six true Sahih for you to read sources. Okay, just give me a minute. If you have to understand the whole chapter, I don't understand the whole chapter. That's why I'm not going to ask questions. Because this sentence would have a bigger meaning than this. And several things out to make it out of context. So, okay, if it has another meaning, who if the Bible has stood the book properly and has a good understanding, how would they understand the book? Because they would have to understand the culture. They already have understanding the context of each other. So he says, you found it. So he was looking for it. I think he was out of the story. 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 The question I'm asking is, what is the question? We have done. 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 That's where we are talking. Issue. So, what, what I'm saying is that you're not understanding okay. what they're trying to say. So, about. now, we go, we go. Do you know who you know who Ibn Abbas is? Ibn Abbas is the cousin of your prophet. So we go to his tafsir, 1890. Till when he reached the rising place of the sun, he found it rising on the people whom he had appointed no helper there from. So he's also confirming that this person found the place of where the sun set, and that's.
that's the cousin what of your prophet. Yeah. Till when he reached the rising place of the sun. Exactly. That's what the Quran says. The wise, so my dear friend, this was a metaphor. Read all the Quran. And this is a natural occurrence. This is when he said, when he said, he went to the cousin of your prophet. And he said, the sun coming from the top of the pillar. Because you also went to the sun coming from the sun. So that's what he went to the sun. So he is confirming this verse is talking about yeah, 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 finding the sun way. So we have the Quran way. We have the way. We have the Quran. We have the Hadith. We have the Quran of your Prophet. Three things confirming the same thing. But now you're trying to say we're going to something else. Okay. The Quran comes first. The Quran comes first. And the Quran said the sun set in the, in the water. Yeah. Then, okay. And then after you done. So that this gentleman just said. Paper boy. Paper boy. Okay, listen. Okay. All right. Okay. When he said, "Don't come to me," and the people are not going to be the one line, the lines are mixed up for them. I think it's just one line. What's the sun? Okay. So in that case, let me ask you a question. Who answered my question? I this question. No, no, no. I'll tell you why. Look. Who is the best person to explain this verse? Who is the best person to explain this verse? Okay, let's go to your hadith. Okay. This is Sahih, Sunan Abu Dawood. Are you looking? Yeah. And we have the Arabic. Right? Yeah. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah. He was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where the sun sets? I replied, Allah and his apostles know best. best. He said, it sets in the spring of warm water. So why did your prophet also say the sun? Because you said, wait, 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 wait. Okay, you can read the Arabic. Because he can read the Arabic. Because he said, the prophet is the best person to explain. So the companion also asked Muhammad, where does the sun set? Where is Sahih? Where is Sahih? There. Sahih in chain, Albani. Yeah, Sahih in chain, but it's not Sahih. It's not of course Sahih. it is. This is Abu no. Sun and Abu no. Dawood. No. Okay, no. show me where it's Taif. No. Show me where it's Taif. We have to show you where it's Taif. Because I'm we showing you it's Sahih. Taif. But we show me. A if you disagree, if nice. you disagree, show no. me where it's no. Taif. No. No. This is Sun. This no, is... you have to show me where it is. The Hadith is Sahih. This is Sahih in chain. Not if... Because you the know chain, what is... chain is. Chain yes. is not. It's not the Hadith. The hadith is someone, no, no, someone who talking to someone to talking to okay. someone. That's if, it. If a hadith is da'if, what? And, and, okay. If it's, if it's, and who did? If who uh, give them sahih? If, is Albani? Yes. If a sah, if a hadith is da'if, what does that mean? What mean? If a hadith is da'if, it means yeah. it's not true. It means there are only very few hadiths that are true because it's a no, no. What, if it's da'if, yeah. it means there is problems in the chain. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So yeah. when this is saying this is sahih in chain, yeah. therefore it but means it's authentic. This is Sunan Albani. This is Sunan Abu Dawood. This is Bukhari that we. No, no, Abu Bukhari, Sunan Abu Dawood, Muslim. Listen. No, no, no. Listen. Explain to me. Yes. No, it's not recognized by everyone. It doesn't mean that it's true. This is a lot of it is hearsay. Yeah, because it's 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 you have a very no, because we looked in the Quran and it's 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 the sun sets in the water. Can you find and something you're now saying it may be it's it's wrong. Wrong. What does that mean? Okay, yeah, yeah, now, answer my question now. Okay, I'll answer, answer, answer my question. Let me just answer my question. You didn't answer mine. Answer mine. Yes. Answer mine. You said you said Allah is saying he found it from his. So show me in the Quran where it says Dulkarnain thought you. He saw it setting. Allah says he found it. That makes what mean he found it? Who found it? Allah found it. No, it's saying it's Quran. Yes, it's the Quran who's talking. No, it's not. It's Allah talking. Let's go to the Quran Allah again. Allah put in a story, no? Let's go to the. Okay, let's go back to the Quran. 18, 18, 19. Why are you? Can I ask you a question? Why are you so bent? How bent on? Because the Quran says. 
that it invites us to. It says, if it have they not pondered upon have the you Quran? Upon the Bible? No, but the Quran specifically says, have they not pondered upon the Quran? If they had, they would have found many contradictions and errors. Yeah, where is the Quran? So it's inviting non-believers to investigate the Quran to see if it's from God. If it's from God, we will not find contradiction and errors. But when we do what the Quran instructs us to do, we find errors. So therefore, we are bringing where it back the to error? you. Where is the error? So where now, is the error? Okay, now we're going back to the error. Says, until when he came to the rising of the sun, he no. found it yeah. rising. Yeah. On on a people. Oh. So where does it oh. say? Where does it say oh. he thought he saw? What it says he, he found it. What does found when mean? When he said happen to the people, is that mean sun come from out? Who, who the is people? talking? Allah is talking. Found it. So Allah is telling. Who found it? Allah is. Who found I'm it? I'm answering your question. Who found Allah it? Allah is telling Muhammad, Dulkarnain found the sun yeah. setting in a pool yeah. of murky water. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. So and what he said? So wait, is, wait. Did wait. Allah when he said, falsely testify or not? Did he when find Dulkarnain? When, when, when he said, when he said, mm. until when he came to rising of the sun, yeah. he found it rising. Who on, found it? Rising on a paper. Who found it? That means sun come. Who found it? Well, yeah, tell me. Who no, found no, no, it? No, no, no. Who? I'm asking you. Yeah, who found yeah, it? We're talking about both of them. Yeah, yeah. Who I'm found it? He, he didn't talk in literally. Who found, found it? it? Yeah. Who found it? Is Dr. Name. Thank you. Then we went to the hadith as well. Because we went to the hadith, which was Sahih. No, it's not Sahih. We didn't say this Sahih hadith. Sahih. In chain. He didn't say Sahih hadith. This is Sun and Abu Dawood. No, no play that guy. No play that guy with me. Okay. No play. Show me hadith. When they say hadith is Sahih, hadith is Sahih. When the Sun. Yes. I don't care about that. Because and when he said this Albani, not Bukhari, okay. not what, Abu Dawood, who said this Sahih Hadith. What does Sahih mean? What Sahih? Yes. Yeah. It's a pure Hadith who have chain who have everything is correct. So you just confirmed what I, no. I said? No. Because Sahih no. in chain, it's you said, mean, it says it's it's Sahih in chain. So I asked him, what does Sahih mean? mean? He said it means the mean. chain has to be it's authentic. Not so it's not what, mean. So what is the it's difference? Not okay. What is the difference? The difference here is it's Sahih in chain. What does that mean? Okay, but he not say the hadith is Sahih. So when the hadith have, is Sahih, it look, means you the chain. Have, you have to form the chain first, yes. okay, and the hadith is Sahih. So how? But he didn't say the hadith is Sahih. If the chain is no, Sahih, answer, it means the, no, sahih, answer the hadith question, is Sahih. Answer, answer my question. You didn't ask, ask the mind. Until he came to rising of the sun, who found? He found it rising on a people. Oh, yes. Whom we had not. Is the sun come rise okay. from the head of the people? Let's go to the tafsir. Who shall we go to? Ibn Abbas. Let's see what Ibn Abbas says. Answer first. Let's no, see can what I, Ibn Abbas says. Can I ask you a question then? Answer first. If you're going to believe in the Quran. Yeah, you carry on. Ibn so, Abbas, the, the, the cousin, no, 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 the cousin of your prophet. What do you want to say? I'm no. speaking to her. So no, 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 no. Yeah, I, don't care. I, don't care. I don't care about him. I come look, for her. I come, listen, I don't come for her. I'm just speaking to her. You want to see I the evidence? I don't care. We're in the middle of a conversation. The cousin of your prophet. So my only point would be, if you believe in the Quran, in order for you to follow Muhammad, to believe in Quran, you need to go to the Hadith. So they can't answer the question. Oh, I answer already. Yeah, a lot of the Hadiths are not true. So who establishes what is true and who is what so is not? So the chains need to be carefully yeah, evaluated. And we who now is know making that determination? So we now know a lot of the Hadiths that we previously thought were true are not actually true. Okay, yeah. But who makes that determination? I don't think there is, so the, there is a specific person that makes that determination at the end of the day. Yeah, so you need to... Yeah. So here's my problem with it. Actual scholars, actual scholars. Okay, okay. Scholars. And there's a reason why I've asked this. Yeah. The actual scholars. Why we say sun is wrong? Why would they? Why would God say the sun sets in water? And we go to the hadith as well. And the companion of your prophet you asked the same question. And the same prophet, he said, before the sun rise every day, yes. it go to the under the throne of God. And do you believe that? And it ask permission. And do you believe that? Yes. We do. So you believe the sun yes. goes under the throne? Yes. Prove it to and me. Ask for permission. Where's the throne of God? The proof is because God. Where's said the throne of God? God is said. It. Where is the throne of God? Because God said it. God said it. Yes. So you So you So God yes. said. Anything God. So Allah said the sun sets yes. in the water. Is I believe it. You believe that yes. the sun sets in water. Yes. 
So this stand right anybody, here. Anybody that God said, yes, we believe in hundred percent. That you believe. Okay. Let me ask you one more thing then. And you're not allowed to use this. You have, you have children. You're not allowed to use this. You're not allowed to use your brain. No. So to be a Muslim, you that can't use your brain. Yeah, you shut your brain. Because you are you here? Yes. To be a Muslim, you have to shut your shut brain. Your brain. Yeah. Are you a Muslim? Whatever God said. Do you agree with him? Yes. Whatever God said. Are you a Muslim? So you, you believe to be a Muslim? You have you to shut agree your brain. With me. Yes, you have to shut. You don't use your brains at all. So we have confirmation. To be a good Muslim, you have to not use yes. your brain. Yes. Mani Pakio. Do you agree with him? Do you agree? Yes or no? Quickly, you're gonna say yes. After you're gonna say no, no. But after you're gonna say yes. Uh, what do you mean? Shut my brain off. Yes, you don't use your brain. But you have to learn. Yes. Yes. My friend, if you if your religion tells no, 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 you, do you pray five? Listen, listen. To do you pray five times a day? Yeah. Do you pray first one two rakat? First one. Sabah two rakat. No. Why is it? Listen, my friend, if your religion tell you to shut off your yeah, brain, you I invite you to something better. No. Christianity, which allows you to use your brain and your intellect to analyze things that happen. No. Christians do not need to shut their brain off shut because he's brain. saying, yes. so you have to then as a Muslim accept that God has said that the sun sets in a pool of water. Whatever. Which we know science. Where, where do you get that from? Where do you get that from? So in the Quran. From. In the Quran, the yes. sun sets on the water. Yes. We're talking about something else. The story of Dul Karnain. Yeah. So we start. What's the purpose? What's, the, what's wrong with that? If the Quran says that, what's wrong with that? Because we know science, from science, the sun does not set in any water. What's the science say? The sun says. The, the science says the sun is in the, in the galaxy, uh, in space. So. The sun, the, the earth orbits the sun. The sun doesn't set anywhere. But why we say sunset and sunrise? But we don't say it sets in the pool of water. No, but why we say sunset? Why did your prophet say it sets in the water? But why we say it? That's because your prophet said the same thing. Are you Christian? Yes. Do you believe Jesus is God? Stick to the topic. We're asking about why would God... Do you believe, you see, do you believe God can come down to look, earth? We will deal with that after you explain to me how the sun I'm can not, set in the water. I don't know about that. We okay. already said that. We'll go to your first is in Arabic, you don't understand it. Second is God says something we believe in. Because we go to the hadith as well. But the best person to explain the Quran is your prophet. And we go to Sunan Abu Dawood. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah. He was riding a donkey whilst the sun was setting. He asked, Do you know where this sets? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said it sets in the spring of warm water. Now why would God and the apostles say this when we know science contradicts this outright? He's saying your only option is to shut your brain off and accept it. <laughs> well, it's very basic. The, the, it's either the sun sets. Well, well you know that's a translation. Okay, this is a hadith. Yeah. You can read the Arabic. You read Arabic. Do you understand the hadith? Yeah, we can read the hadith. You know the commentators. Ibn Abbas. When they're explaining the hadith, yes. they have to explain it in certain details. Okay. That fulfills what's that talk? What's that? What's that? Uh, what's that talk about? Yeah. So say like right now, if I wanted to talk about the sun setting, so they will, the commentator will explain more, elaborate. Okay. But you are explaining it through English. So we have the Arabic here as well. Yeah. That's the Arabic. But yeah. this is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Even if you read the Arabic, the commentator have to explain to you. So how would the way. commentator get their understanding? Because your prophet has clearly said. So if there's no chain of narration of this explanation, the commentators are making it up. Because we have to go and go to the Prophet yeah. and see what he said. Well, 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 this is uh, Surah Abu Dawood, Sahih. Surah Abu Dawood? Yeah, 4002. You know, you know Surah Abu Dawood, some of them. But this one is Sahih. I think they might be weak, weak hadith. This one is not weak, Sahih. I'm not sure that. Yeah. But what, but what, what I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you, my friend, yeah? Okay. Do you believe Jesus Christ is God? <laughs> 
deal with this one. See, this is a typical Muslim response. They come, they find difficulties in the Quran, and then they want to jump to the Kunti. So, my friends, do you believe that the sun sets in water? So, the one who created the sun. If he says that over there, then I believe people. So, you believe this? So, so you two have shut your brain off. No, 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 no. What I'm saying to you right now, what I'm saying to you, yes, is the way you're understanding it is different. Let me explain to you. And okay. Okay. You okay. Let, me, let, me get, let me let me forget about that one. Let me get this straight. That one. Apparently, it. the way I'm understanding it is wrong. So you have the companion of your prophet and your prophet, and, 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 and they the see the sun, sun, and the companion is wondering where does the sun set. Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me finish. Have you ever so then he's asked your prophet where does the sun set, and your prophet says it sets in a pool of water. So what am I getting wrong? Because this companion wanted to understand where the sun sets. So where am I going wrong in my understanding of when your prophet rep replied to him? Because he didn't say where does it appear to set. He asked him a specific question of where does the sun set. Have you ever, have you, have you ever been to the beach? Have you seen the beach when the sun is setting? Okay. It, goes, it goes under the water. See the sunset. It goes okay. under the water. And it, sometimes it rises up under the water. But yeah. yeah. what does science say? Yeah. What does science say? But listen, scientists cannot prove certain things in life, in reality. So, so you don't believe that there's I don't earth believe, orbits I don't the sun? I don't believe what they say. But I believe Let's what say the earth is flat over there. <laughs> what does science say? But that's, that's what does science. They believe in science as well, isn't it? What does science say? Say what? Well, what? What does the science say about? I've seen that the earth is round. What, what do you believe? I know the Quran what? say this. Uh, the, but, the, but you, are, what do you believe? It's wrong. But the, uh, why? What do you mean why? Why do you believe the earth is round? Because it's in the Quran. The Quran says the earth was rolled out like a carpet. No. That's in the day of judgment. No, 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 no. no. So, wait, shall we see where it says the, the, the no, earth was? You, you don't want to see it because it means you. Listen, my friend. Let's talk about the Bible. Let's talk about God incarnate. Coming back to shut your brain. I'm going to explain it to you. That will shut your brain up. I'm going to explain it to you. If you believe God is coming down to you. You see, I'm going to explain it to you. Maybe you understand. Because whatever the God says, whatever the prophet says, you have to accept it. I accept it. Yeah. Yeah. You don't, you don't, yeah. I don't have the knowledge. So why don't argue. you accept the sun? You don't argue with that. I don't argue. No, that's what, I'm what I'm saying. That's what I mean. But by what I'm saying to you, if God comes down to the earth, yeah, yeah, then, no, we, no. then we'll be all destroyed. Okay. Because the power, see, can you look at that sun? Can yeah. look at the sun? You have to send us. Yeah. Okay, well, let's just wrap this up. So, so, so we're we'll back. So, so, clearly, we started going around in circles there but we bring out these contradictions in the Quran and clearly we see Muslims go to the same script first of all it's we read the English then it's we go to the Arabic then when they read the Arabic and there's problems then they say let's go to the scholars then when we show them the scholars they have so many excuses and then it comes to the last resort is when it comes to the Quran you have to switch off your brain but we are inviting Muslims to a better religion that doesn't require you to switch off your brain because clearly we see the Quran is very contradictory and no one had an answer so we see the excuses of Dul Karnain it was from his opinion but one by one everyone just disappeared so clearly when your uh, when your faith contradicts logic it's time to abandon that faith and until next week